After a lot of requests, finally I'm making the guide on how to build an Android ROM from source. So this video in particular, the part 1 will be focusing on the basics of Android ROM development. So in this, it'll be like a theory class. So that in the next video when we jump to the practical part of it, you don't get scared. Okay, so to get started, we need some basic few requirements to be fulfilled. You need an Ubuntu Linux distribution. You need few packages that we'll be talking about in later videos. Yeah, you need patience because this is going to take time. You need a good internet connection because you're going to have to download quite a lot of data. And finally, yes, a powerful computer because you need some power. Okay, now let's move to the next step. In this, we have the basic things that we need. So we need a ROM source, depending on which ROM you want to build, example signage and mod or pack ROM. Then you need your kernel source, your device tree and your vendor tree. What is a kernel source you ask? Well, it stores all the hardware information and it acts as an overlay between the hardware and the software. While ROM building, you can use a pre-built kernel, but I prefer using and compiling the kernel on time. Okay. Well, this is the device tree and it contains all the like, configuration settings for your device. You'll get to know about this folder when we actually work with this folder. And then we have the vendor source. So blah 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 blah. There's not quite much about it, it's just shit, so let's continue. But yeah, we need it. They contain some important binaries. So finally, now that we are aware of the, all the files that we need for the compiling a ROM, let's take a look at the steps for preparing. The first thing that we need to do is the initial setup. In this process, we'll install all the required libraries and the packages that are needed for the compilation. In the second step, we'll be preparing the repositories, that is, we'll set up all the parts. Now let's take a look at the steps for initialization. So the first thing that we'll do is initialize the repository for ROM source. In this step, we will be downloading all the sources, ROM source, the kernel source, the device tree and the vendor source. After syncing and downloading all the sources, we will place them in the right directories so that the makefile is able to find all of them. And finally, we will start the compilation. This will take time depending on the processor and the RAM you have. Ok guys, so the next video that I will be having, it will include all the practicals. I will be posting a guide on my webpage actually. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about it, it's kanalkin 1797n so go check it out. I'll be posting the guide over there as well as a video together, I'll be posting them together so that you guys can have all the snippets and the codes that I'll be using. Easy peasy. I'm quite sure you guys will be able to make your own Android ROMs soon. And guys, yeah, if you have made it till here, then congratulations. You have that patience and you'll be able to make your own custom ROM easily. Oh yeah, now let's talk about the most important step. You need to like this video, you know, ROM compilation, it doesn't work. If you haven't liked my video, that, that, that's a rule, yeah. Also guys, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel, you share this video, and please, please comment if you have any doubts or you have any special requests. I'll take care of them. And with this guys, I'll take a leave and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.